when the bridge was constructed uh, in 2015 uh, to 2017, uh, uh, we were told uh, one of the ferries would be left behind. And so that this kind of heavy trucks, uh, they will be carrying them across the river water at St. side. But uh, after the completion, uh, we're still facing problems uh, sometimes daytime, nighttime, when you're passing by, the bridge vibrates. And uh, excuse me to say, if, no, if you've if not been to the bridge side before, sometimes you'll be a little bit scared. Uh -huh. So I'm pleading with the government uh, to at least, uh, if uh, it will be possible for them to bring one of the ferries so that the heavy trucks uh, will be crossing alongside the city uh, for the bridge to last longer. Increment time, what we had. Uh, you know, the bridge is a hanging bridge. Uh, despite as we supported with uh, some of the metal uh, materials, but uh, if it happens that this kind of heavy trucks like uh, these cargo cars, logs, and then some of the excavators to also pass by, uh, it might, so far as it has been developed or it has been um, molded by a metal object, it might only be affected. And then that will even cause damage because nobody knows what will happen next. So that is my fear. With the uh, president of the DC, the DC chief executive, uh, Nobu Samuel Ajikum, even we went uh, out for assembly meetings, I've been raising because we wouldn't wait for it to happen before we'll be finding solutions. And then, uh, during the uh, uh, double road aspect, that is the dual carriage. Uh, where some of the highways uh, personnel also come and then we raise the issue uh, what we were told uh, is that uh, we should wait things should be resolved in a possible manner but as at now as i'm speaking nothing has been resolved there are still uh, heavy trucks and uh, a lot of uh, big cars are passing We, we saw on social media that some bulls have been removed on the bridge. Uh, we, we were very worried because uh, uh, it's a disturbing news. So this morning, myself, the assemblyman for Atimpoku, the chief of Atimpoku, the district engineer and the district information officer, and the soldiers posted to the bridge to keep guard we all went on an inspection on the bridge to see for ourselves whether it is true or not. Fortunately, uh, we did not find any boat which has been removed from the bridge, which means that the stories that was put on the social media is false. In fact, two years ago, uh, some bulls were actually removed, yes, uh, but it was replaced. And since then, we've not had that, that incident again until we saw on the social media that it has happened again. But as I said, when we went down, we didn't see any bulls removed. So uh, I've reported to the Ghana Highways Authority engineer, the director in charge of uh, roads, uh, bridges, and he has told me that on 28th of this month they will be coming for some inspection. Yes, but the story that we saw, I can confirm that it's not true. Though the district has no control whatsoever of the bridge, because it is situated within our jurisdiction. The responsibility, the responsibility of the, the bridge, the safety, I mean the safety of the bridge also becomes our responsibility. Yes, that's why we, we it is our duty as well to ensure that the, the bridge is always safe. Yes, 
So fortunately, we now have uh, soldiers posted on the bridge. So as long as I am concerned, I can tell you that the bridge is now very safe. Thank you.